Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in our grid line levels and we also added our walls, exterior and interior, and the powder room and the laundry room. Now we're going to continue working on this. Um, and then, as you know, we added some levels. If we go to elevation south, we added some levels. We added three and four. But as you can see, it's not showing here. Uh, for this to be shown, you will need to go to view, go to plan views, floor plan, and you will need to highlight both of this by holding on shift and then clicking on level 4. After that, press OK and as you can see, it will appear right here, 3 and 4. Now let's go back to level 1 and let's add in more furniture. So go to insert, load family and go back to the main and then look for furniture. Here we have tables. So let's add in our dining table. I want our dining table to be a rectangle and a glass. So I'm going to load this M table dining. Press open and then you can type in CM spacebar to rotate. Press escape and then escape. Click this one, edit type, duplicate. You can choose whatever name you want, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And then for the depth or width, I'm going to change it. I want it to be 900. And then for the width, I want it to be 2500. So you can basically edit some of the families and I'm gonna put it right here I want to add in some seats so load so actually I made a mistake no we need to go back to insert and then load family let's look for seating which is under furniture as well go to seating and let's add this one after that Type in CM again, and then spacebar to turn it around. I usually add on one side only because we can mirror this later on. There we have it. Select everything and move it up like so. And then you can now do mirror which is under modify so just select everything like so and you can do mirror and there you go press escape again click this and click mirror draw axis and we can mirror it like that so that looks nice so Let's load more family. Uh, now that we're in seating, let's load this. So chair garbo, open, and then type in C, M, and let's add this one right here. Let's add two of them, but as you can see, it's too big for this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this type and then duplicate chair number two. And I'm going to change the depth right here. I'm going to change this to around 60, 650. And then the width is around 800. Press OK. And then as you can see, this will be very nice. It's It doesn't look huge anymore, which is perfect. And we could just select both of them by holding on control 
and selecting the second one and we could just move this onto our space let's load the sofa the sim similar with this which is m sofa gerbil open type in cm spacebar and we could just put it right here for now press escape select it again edit type we're gonna duplicate this let's put sofa 2 and then now change the depth to 650 and then the width just the same and as you can see it looks perfect let's load in the table for this or the co coffee table it's still under furniture so you just need to go back once and then click on tables and then coffee table press open type in cm and then click to add press escape select it again and then let's check the sizes here we could use this but we need to rotate this 90 degrees and then let's change the the depth so edit type duplicate so the name it depends on you and then for the width let's change this to 700 and then for the length let's change this to 1750 there we go so let's load in the tv so it will be under furniture as well and then the flat screen after that type in cm and then spacebar to change orientation add it by clicking and then change the size which will be the biggest we can even change the diagonal size of this but I'm just gonna leave it like that so I'm going to add in a credenza table right here so let's load in it will be storage and then credenza after that type in cm and then change the orientation for this one we're going to change the the depth so i'm going to select it edit and then duplicate and then here we're going to change the depth so i'm going to change this to probably 400 so that's good we have room now here and it doesn't interfere in any way right here okay so everything is looking good i'm just gonna move this one a little bit forward or on the left side okay and then let's add in the stairs first so go back to architecture and then here click on stairs and then let's go to base level one and then top level to be level two and then here the desired number of riser let's change this to 16 click apply and then okay and then now let's add in our stairs i'm gonna add it right here first so here if you zoom in you will see that you will they're telling you how many you remaining you have so here we have eight rights are created and eight remaining 
So here, I'm just going to click here. And then after that, I'm going to click on the other side. I want it to be a U shape. Press escape if it, it if the handle interferes with each other. So I'm just estimating it like that. So I'm just leaving it a, a bit of a room. After that, we still have one more. So there. So what I did is, let me see, number of riser and then we just correct, create a run. Eight, and then eight again. So 16 in total. So it will look like this. And then it created the landing right here. And then what we could do is we could just move it later on to its place. So what you have to do is you just need to click finish. And then now it's easier to select everything and move it in place like so. There we go. So what I'm going to do is go to insert load family and I just want to go to the main menu and add in some entourage which is the car. I just want to assess the spacing that I created here. So type in CM and as you can see it, it looks perfect for the spacing. I'm just going to leave it like that. and. Before we go to twin motion, I'm gonna delete that. Also, I'm gonna add in the door, the main or exterior door. So go back to main and then go to doors and then go to let's go to residential. So I'm going to choose one of this, do an exterior, I'm going to do this instead even though it's in for interior. Let's select everything by holding on shift and selecting the last one to highlight everything and press OK. And then let we need to go to architecture and then door which is DR. And I'm just selecting something right here. And as you can see it's too big. So let's see if we could change this. So I'm just gonna select This is actually the the smallest that we have they have so we could edit this duplicate and I'm just gonna leave the name like that and then for the width I'm just I'm going to change this to 1400 and then let's move it let's change this to 1300 instead there we go so basically it's a 1300 by 2000 millimeters so before we finish let's add in the floor so let's go back to architecture and then click on floor let's use this generic floor 400 millimeters edit type duplicate we need to change this to floor number one press ok and then here we could change the thickness to 200 and the material 
let's change this to a something stone so let's go here and change it to stone I'm gonna use field stone first apply okay and then okay and then okay again I'm gonna use this on the surrounding so I'm gonna choose pick line I'm choosing the exterior part of the wall or the perimeter I think that's good we can click finish and what we could do is we could check the 3d so it will look like that So, so far so good go back to level one and let's finish the video for now right here so thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below